John, great to have you back on the show. I will start there with you on this Jobs Friday. Are you able to, as you start to do this hiring, are you able to bring people in, employees in, and what is it going to take to recruit them? Yeah, well, good morning, Morgan, and thanks for having us. Uh, yeah, we're fortuitous to be in a position of hiring, and a lot of it. It's primarily driven by three, th three things for us. Uh, one is we have a lot more new stores. We opened about 206 new stores globally last year. 183 of those were in the U.S., and we opened about 115 within our ACE handyman services businesses, and that creates a lot more jobs. Uh, we're going to be doing about the same again this year, so we are in need of managers, back office, and what we call red-vested heroes throughout the enterprise. The second reason is just growth. Um, ACE is a 42% larger company today than it was just two years ago. And uh, hmm. candidly, it almost feels unseemly to be talking about all this growth, knowing about what's going on around the world and many small businesses still really suffering to try to get back on their feet, but that's the environment we're in. And then for us, we're entering peak. Spring is our peak, so we have a lot of hiring to do and it's a really high class problem. In terms of that growth, which uh, uh, I know really kind of turbocharged during the pandemic with people staying at home and the focus on home improvement, how sustainable is it at these levels? We feel that um, a good portion of this growth, which, as you said, was certainly induced by, you know, COVID. Uh, we were declared an essential retailer, and that is a, a meaningful driver of the 42 percent growth. But, you know, chance favors the prepared mind and our stores were prepared. And so as we sit here today, uh, we're actually up double digit again. And that's on top of the 42 percent two year stack growth. So we think a lot of it's going to stick. Now, admittedly, some of that this year is driven by inflation. Uh, that's not the way to grow, but it does artificially make the numbers for many retailers and durable goods look a bit better, and we're in that camp. So I think the the desire to preserve and protect one's largest asset, their home, uh, is sustainable uh, over the long run. I wonder, you know, we've been asking, especially this last quarter, uh, some retailers in which categories they're beginning to feel a pushback from consumer uh, on pricing. Um, I wonder, are there certain buckets where you're beginning to see real resistance? Small resistance, Carl, yes, but feeling it for sure. And, and I'll quantify that for you. So last year, our average ticket in our retail stores, again, we have 5,600 of them, all of them, but 210 are locally owned and operated, and they enjoyed a 10.5% increase in average ticket. But for the year, about 4.2% of that was inflation-driven. And in the fourth quarter, particularly as we entered November, December, uh, that started to knock on the 8% number, and that's carried through. That certainly impacts more discretionary-oriented purchases. But thankfully for our business, we have a lot of it driven by home preservation. And whether the economy is good or bad or the stock market's up or down, uh, there's a need to preserve one's largest asset. Further, so a lot of what's driving our growth, paint, power, barbecue, when folks want to buckle down, they tend to stay home more. They do those things. But higher ticket is being negatively impacted by the inflation, for sure. So then, I, I guess, just to dig a little deeper on that, what is your sense of the health of the consumer as this year progresses? There is no question that the, the least among us get hurt the most by inflation. And that's a horrible thing. And uh, unfortunately, that impacts people in meaningful ways. So with respect to inflation in our business, I think we are generally insulated from the adverse effects of that because, again, preserving and protecting one's home is not, you know, generally discretionary. But the higher ticket mm -hmm. items are going to be impacted as consumers got to buckle up a little bit because they're going to have to have their gas and they have to pay their rent and they got to get their you know groceries and all of that is up meaningfully that certainly impacts the consumer and you know monetary and fiscal stimulus is decreasing and that's an adverse effect as well